We live in a peaceful, politically and socially stable environment here in Singapore. But in today's high-tech, borderless world, no individual can be fully protected from the dangers posed by acts of terrorism. Much has been done to make Singapore a hard target for terrorists. But our safety and security agencies cannot be everywhere, every time. We need to help ourselves and our loved ones by always being prepared for emergencies caused by acts of terrorism. And these threats can come in many destructive forms, chemical, biological or radiological. Threats involving chemical, biological and radiological substances may not be common to us. However, such threats are real and can occur anywhere at any time. If you are not prepared for such unconventional threats, you may put yourself, as well as those around you, in a dangerous situation. Let us start by examining chemical threats. Chemical agents are toxic or hazardous gas, liquid or solid that can poison people and the environment when released. There are four primary types of chemical agents. Nerve agents, blister agents, blood agents and choking agents. Nerve agents are organophosphorus compounds that inhibit the proper functioning of neurotransmitters in the nervous system. These agents can be easily absorbed through the respiratory tract, the skin and the eyes and cause symptoms like tearing, salivation, urination, breathing difficulty, vomiting, muscle twitching, seizures, respiratory paralysis and death. Blister agents, also known as mustard agents, can easily penetrate layers of clothing when exposed to air. It is quickly absorbed by the skin to cause skin redness, severe pain and blisters, and extreme irritation to the respiratory tract. Blister agents were used as chemical weapons during World War I. Blood agents are cyanide compounds that affect the respiratory and circulatory systems by blocking the blood's ability to deliver oxygen to body tissues. One common blood agent is hydrogen cyanide, which can be absorbed by inhalation or through the skin. Symptoms include headaches, nausea, vomiting, dim vision, dizziness, convulsions, and coma. Death can occur in minutes if exposed to a high concentration of a blood agent. Choking agents are highly toxic substances that irritate and damage the respiratory system when inhaled. In extreme cases, the lungs get filled with liquid to the extent that air is excluded. Symptoms include dryness of throat, coughing, chest tightness, nausea, and tearing. If you observe either three or more people collapsing without apparent reason or many people falling sick and displaying symptoms of chemical poisoning, a chemical agent release may have taken place. In the event of such chemical release, you should quickly ascertain the area affected or where the chemical release is coming from. If the chemical release is inside the building you are in, Quickly leave the building without passing through the affected area. Cover your mouth and nose with a wet towel while evacuating. If you are out in the open when the chemical release occurs, cover your nose and mouth with a cloth. Do not walk in the direction of the chemical release or in the direction of the wind. Find shelter or get inside a building. Seek in place protection. In a car, when a chemical release occurs, close windows and air conditioning vents. Switch off all air conditioning systems in your vehicle. Seal air conditioning vents with a tape if possible. 
drive as far away from the affected area as possible. Listen to the radio for updated advice and instructions. A biological agent is a living microorganism or biological toxin that can be used to incapacitate or kill. Infection can be caused by ingestion, inhalation, or through a skin cut. There are many classes of biological agents, bacterial agents, viral agents, and biological toxins. Bacterial agents are small, single-celled organisms that can cause diseases in humans in two ways, by invading human tissue or producing poisons and toxins. One such attack in the U.S. used the bacteria anthrax sent out in the mail. Viruses are simple microorganisms that require living hosts, such as the cells of infected humans, for replication. Viruses are resistant to antibiotics, and examples of such agents are SARS and smallpox. Biological toxins are poisons produced by living organisms. One example is ricin, which is extracted from castor beans. Ricin prevents human cells from producing proteins. Without proteins, cells die, shutting down the entire body system. Biological agent attacks may not be immediately obvious as there is an incubation period during which no ill effects are observed. Awareness usually comes from reports about a pattern of unusual illness in the community or a sudden wave of sick people seeking emergency medical attention. In the event of a biological agent attack, you should stay calm and monitor the news closely for information on the signs and symptoms of the disease as well as where to seek emergency medical care if you are infected and become ill. Practice good hygiene at all times to avoid spreading of germs. Immediately seek emergency medical care if you become ill. Victims of a biological agent attack may not show any observable symptoms, but if you suspect you have come into contact with a biological agent, such as anthrax, there are precautions you should take. Do not touch the suspicious item. Cover spilled contents immediately if possible. Cover your nose and mouth with layers of cloth. Turn off all ventilation systems in the 